Yeah! Fins out, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> That's why there was more Dolphins fans in the stadium than there were Chargers fans! Fins up! What's going on, everybody? Chris Smith, a.k.a. Nightmare here. The Miami Dolphins get the job done 31-24 in San Diego. Woo! Phillip Rivers, Melvin Gordon, Antonio Gates, and the rest of the San Diego Chargers have had a tough year with key losses and injuries and tough losses. They've been in every single game this year. They've had tough, tough games. Fought tooth and nail and just could not come out on top. They've been playing well the last few weeks. But damn, the Dolphins got the W. Ryan Tannehill, 17 for 24, 240 yards, and count them, two, count them, two touchdowns, yeah. Ryan Tannehill is a tough son of a bitch too, man. Continues to get drilled, completes the passes still. I mean, occasionally he got inconsistent, but I, it's he's under pressure, man. Still was able to complete passes and even broke one off on the sideline and made five defenders miss. Woo! We could not get anything, any momentum going running the ball this week, though. Jay Ajayi, 19 rushes, 79 yards. Sorry, right, Jay Train, we still believe in you, baby. Next week, choo choo! Jay Train, baby! Damian Williams, what I like to call the silent assassin, man. Doesn't You don't see him very much, but man, when he shows up, he shows up big. He had a rushing touchdown and a receiving touchdown this weekend. Good shit, baby. Kenny Stills had two catches, 47 yards, and a big Dolphins touchdown. Woo! And the receiving leader for the week was Devontae Parker. Five catches, 103 yards. Mm. Special teams played fairly well with the exception of Jakeem Grant. Jakeem makes me nervous every time they kick that ball off, man. That, that, that guy can either make it or break it, dude. He muff or take it to the house. Like, there's really no in-between right now. He's got to work on a couple things. few rookie mistakes. It, it'll get fixed. Still believe in you, Jakeem Grant. Let's just get this roll going. Defensive side of the ball, man. We looked absolutely amazing with this front seven amazing we had a few hiccups here and there gave up a few big plays we just got to work on a few things man stat leader for the defense was tony lippett who had seven tackles and two interceptions yeah including one in the back of the end zone baby mm. byron maxwell had five tackles and an interception a guy that continues to show improvement even though there is some slight Slight mistakes that I need. I want to see him improve, man. I know he could be a good d defensive back if we just keep giving him the time and he's starting to learn that position. But, man, some of the tackles, man. It looks like you're passing out hugs out there, Byron. I need you to step it up, and then as soon as I say that shit, you pick it off, man. Mm, good shit. Cameron Wake had three tackles and two sacks. Wakezilla, baby. And in all honesty, my favorite player on the defense, not just because he got a pick six for 60 yards to give us the game-winning goddamn touchdown, but this guy is everywhere and he plays his heart out every single goddamn game, week in and week out. If you go in back and watch the goddamn videos, every time you fucking see a play, Kiko Alonso is on the goddamn ball. Kiko motherfucking Alonso. Four tackles, and I said it a little bit ago, but it's worth saying it twice. A pick six for 60 yards to give us the goddamn game-winning touchdown. Woo! All in all, we played very well. We just got to work on some form tackling, getting the goddamn ball carrier wrapped up. Bring them down to the ground, quit fucking around and messing around, letting them go by. And also cut down on goddamn penalties. 11 penalties for 81 yards. Some of them were real key, man. We could have had, like, huge opportunities to score big. Man, we got to cut down on those. That's all I got for this video, man. I'm real stoked. Let's enjoy this goddamn W. Share this with other Finns fans around the community. I know they'll enjoy it because I have so much fun making these goddamn things. And we're making them every single week after every single game. 
until the day I goddamn die. Real talk. Till the day I die, dude. I'm making these until the day I die. Go Fins. Die hard, baby. If you want to hit me up on any type of social media, shoot the shit with me and chop it up, all those links are down below. Just go look. Check it out. They're all there. Everything. Everything I used. Right there. Just look, dude. Just fucking look. Couple of fun facts for you to celebrate. We're five and four now. That was our first win on the road this season. And we're going to keep going because I really think we got shots at the playoffs, baby. Woo! I'll see you next week when we take on the Los Angeles Rams in LA, baby. Yeah! Fins up! <laughs> Goddamn, I have so much fun making these fucking videos.